5G is all the rage right now with carriers launching it and with 5G phones being released and ready for pre-order, we thought it would be fitting to go over what 5G actually is. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Whistleout TV. Starting at the basics of 5G, we need to go over what it actually means. The G in 5G stands for generation, so it's the fifth generation of internet or data. Right now, most of us are using 4G and in some cases 3G when 4G is not available. 2G is mostly on the way out, so thank goodness for that. 4G is great and handles all of our internet needs with ease. So why do we need 5G? Well, 5G will make our internet faster, which is never a bad thing. 5G will also increase the quality of your video and audio streaming. 5G will be able to handle more activity. So as smartphones and smart homes and smart cars become more advanced, you'll be able to toggle between all technologies with ease. 5G is currently in a few places around the country like Chicago, Dallas, Houston, and Kansas City. Verizon was the first carrier to the market with true 5G, then Sprint followed. If you're with AT&T, you can see what type of data you're using by looking at your coverage bar. If you see 5GE, you're using their souped up 4G data, which isn't quite 5G. In the coming months and year, each carrier has their own plan to launch 5G nationwide. For instance, T-Mobile plans to have nationwide 5G by 2024, but it will be in select cities by the end of the year. Overall, chances are if you live in a big city or a metro area, 5G will be coming to you. But the list is really big and always changing, so I'm linking it in the description below. So say you live where 5G is available. How can you actually use it? Well, that's the catch. You'll need a 5G specific cell phone plan and a 5G capable phone. But there aren't many devices being made right now that can even access 5G. But there are a few, like Verizon's Moto Z3 with the Moto Mod, which is an add-on to the device that allows it to connect to 5G. Or you can look at the Samsung Galaxy S10 5G. So what does all of this mean and what's coming next? Well, it's kind of a game of hurry up and wait because carriers are racing to bring 5G to the public and we have to wait to use it until 5G phones are more widely available along with 5G plans. So until then, just keep scrolling and streaming until your 4G data runs out this month and the next month and the next month and the next. Hey, it's Sherry again. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe because we put out new videos every Friday all about cell phones, cell phone plans, carriers, the internet, and anything else you can think of under that realm. And we want you to watch. So just don't forget to click subscribe. Also follow us on social media where we put all the best deals right into your feed. You don't have to do any hard work at all. Just click right on through. I'm Sherry Riggs. You're watching Whistleout TV.